Let's listen to some instrumental jam rock. This is Buffalo Hide with the song The Eagle. Episode 63. Are we back? Hey, Indie Music Live, episode 63. I'm JoJo Keys. We're getting ready for the Indie Musicians Roundtable. Nadira's in the green room, everybody. Oh, she came early. Out. She's been hanging out with us for the last couple of episode 14s. <laughs> she's been in the yeah, she's been in the room for like three hours just waiting for it. <laughs> so I'm Dave, so what'd you late. what'd you think of Buffalo Hide, man? <laughs> All right. Um I have a bunch of thoughts. Like, I'm in a Simon Cowell mood tonight, man. I'm like, oh, no. I'm just wanting to be critical. I don't know what it is. Like, uh, I, Buffalo Hide, um, it, it was a cool jam, you know? Like, the, my thoughts on this are if you're going to do an instrumental, like, rock guitar song where it's like, it's all about, it's all the focus on the guitar, usually when you hear that stuff, it's just like, there's a virtuoso in there somewhere as a soloist, right? You know, Satriani, you know, Steve Vai type of stuff. Um, and this was like, this was kind of, it just sounded like a demo to me. It was just like, you know, he's kind of piecing together his skills and it's, and it was cool. It, it was, it was a nice, it was a nice jam, but what stood out to me in the jam was, um, I think it was about 20 at the 24 second point. So if he's listening that's the point where the background guitar drone sound, which goes throughout the whole song, uh, when the lead came in at about 24 seconds, it, it was like it was a lead sound that was the exact same uh, sound as the background sound. So it didn't stand out. It was almost like it was like a big muff, like dirty distortion sound that was already going in the background. So if I was doing the song, I would make that lead something that's totally different right and then about 30 seconds later he ended up doing that and it comes in with like a different lead i'm like okay all right now this thing is like grooving i like this it's like you're mixing different uh tone and different instruments and now it's starting to come together so it took like a minute and a half to like really kind of catch its uh its groove to me um but yeah just to, to repeat the first part of it, it's like, yeah, like jams like this, if you're going to have no vocals, I mean, usually when these types of songs kind of stand out and like get some traction behind it, there's some type of, you know, virtuosity in, in the soloing going on. And I didn't see that. It was, it was just like a jam. It was just a jam. It was a cool jam. 
you know so like i, I want to hear more i want i want to hear where he's going with this because that, yeah. that's all i've ever heard from this guy and yeah exactly yeah. And it stuck out to me so i thought I'd, you know give it a chance put it on the show um so buffalo hide the eagle and a bunch of other things too keep rocking man keep rocking send send us your new stuff <laughs>